College football is back, and we're back on the Big Mountain, where we give you a fresh take on college football betting focused on the Big Ten and the Mountain West. It's good to see you again. I'm JY. This is my good friend Steve. And Steve, guess what? Go Pokes! Go Pokes! Woo! Go Pokes. <laughs> hey, I got to tell you, Wyoming. Woo! What a game. What an upset. Awesome to watch. What an ending. Ugh, anytime you get into overtime in college football. Really good stuff, and, and we had a real real wing dinger. That's my word of the week, wing dinger, uh, out there in Wyoming. And, and I got to say, it was awesome to see that place just pumping with fire and enthusiasm and full, and it was a stripe-out game. You're used to white-out games. Yes. Wyoming, they do the stripe-out games, and boys, they brought it. It's a beautiful venue, and it looked like a lot of fun in they that stadium. Came out in full force. It was fantastic. Um, and, and frankly, made, could have made all the difference. You yeah. know, that, there's home home games like that with, when the crowd's pumping and they get on a roll, and that's certainly what happened. Whew, could have been it, that fifth man type of thing. Ooh, let's go. Great twelfth atmosphere. man, what am I saying? Twelfth man, what's a fifth man? Hey, I don't know. It's a twelfth man, but anyway. Great atmosphere. Um, yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Um, and, so, and so I have to say, this, this game was a real joy to watch. Um, I have to give a shout out. You know, I, I watched the game. I thought Aaron Taylor, um, who was the color guy yes, for uh, CBS, he's a CBS analyst. Yeah. What a joy to listen to him! I'm mean, just knowledge of the game, reading plays, uh, just fantastic. Yeah. I, I wish he did every game that I watched because he, he he was fantastic. You know, he's a, a Notre Dame All American, yep. two time I think All American, just really really good. But anyway, we're not here to talk about him. We're here to talk about Wyoming Cowboys. So I'm going to break it down quarter by quarter, uh, give you about where I'm at, give you some stats on the game as well. Not that you maybe don't already know that if if you're a Wyo fan and and watched it. Uh, First quarter, Texas Tech. And I got to tell you, you know, I I had taken uh, Texas Tech at minus 14. Um, I'm happy that was a losing bet being a a Cowboy fan here. But after that first quarter, I I thought I had a winning bet. Right. You know, they're 17-0. They're rolling. Um Cowboys just didn't look great, specifically on the pass defense. You know, Texas Tech had two uh, passing touchdowns, looking really good, getting behind the corners. Just, uh, you know, they just weren't quite up to speed yet on on the Y.O. side of the ball. You know, the first touchdown, the first of the two passing touchdowns, was a 33-yarder to, to, to Price. Really nice throw and, and catch. Uh, the second one came after a, a Wyoming fumble. Yeah. So you turn it over, the other team capitalizes. Usually not, not, good. Uh, not a recipe for success. Again, yeah. first quarter was was a bit rough. Um, so that turned into a 19-yard uh, pass. TT's up 14-0 there in, in the first quarter. And like you said, that's at the 926 mark. Wasn't up 14-0. For the, for the Pokes. Ew, golly jeepers. <laughs> not, not good at all for, for my, my Cowboys here. Um, uh, then there was a, a lost fumble by James. Again, recovered by Texas Tech. And they hit a 54-yard field goal. To go up 17 to 0. Yeah. So end of the first quarter, 17 to 0. But that's where the, the tragedy ends and the comeback and the win begins. I'm guessing you're gonna you are gonna like the second quarter a little bit. The better second quarter and second half and overtime, much, much better. Okay. So let's get into that. All right. Enough of this boo-hoo nonsense. <laughs> so second quarter, uh, the very beginning of the quarter, you know, they had driven there towards the end of the first quarter to get into for Hoyland, what's his field goal range, which isn't for most, but he nails a 56-yard field goal. We talked about in our preview videos the kicking for, for Wyoming yes. being a difference. You know, everybody talks about their, their defense, yes. which is the, the best part of their game as well as their running. But their kicker, if you can drill 56 yarders, you're, you're going to win football games. That's a good recipe. Defense uh, and good kicking. Yes. So I, I felt like in the second quarter, you could see the defense was starting to really get up to speed. Um, they started to get things going. Next possession, then uh, Wyo had a night. Wyoming had a nice drive, uh, mixing pass and run. Some nice play action call on first and goal. And Peasley had a pass to Dr- Driscoll, scoring a touchdown, getting Wyo back in the game here, uh, seventeen to ten. So things were looking pretty good. You know, kind of on the right right trajectory here. And they, and they didn't stop there. Um, they kept going throughout the game. Uh, Wild did look to have some some pretty good speed uh, on defense. Uh, they started to impose their will on the defensive side. Uh, their secondary coverage was a lot better. You could see Peasley was getting much more confident. Um, his, his throws were getting better. We'll get into some stats. He didn't have a ton of throwing or a ton of receptions. But when he did, I mean, he, he, had, he had 
quite a bit of zing on it. Yeah. You know, he took uh, throws that were there, liked to go over the middle here, was taking hits. We'll talk about taking hits to make plays here late That's in the I'm game. what I'm worried about with him. Yeah, you know, and he's a runner too, yes, so he's yeah. he's – He's going to he's gonna get hit. Yeah. Um, so as long as he can stay healthy and, and do what he did, it's going to be a good season. But, yeah. um, you know, really turn things around there in, in the second quarter. Um, and there at the end of that quarter, so the end of the first half, Texas Tech 17, Wyoming 10. So things were looking up. Okay. All right, so second half. Uh, again, Peasley was was keeping his strides going, had a really nice throw down the middle, uh, beautiful cutback for a 17-yard run to put the Cowboy, Cowboys ahead early yeah. there in the, in the second half. Uh, it was great to see Welch, the tight end, had a huge block on that run. Um, it was really good to see that running game do what we know they can do. Um, and they used a lot of guys. They, they used three running backs. Obviously, Peasley was, was running as well. Um, so it was good to see they were getting a lot of guys in the mix. Really strong running game. Uh, and the line did a, did a good job of, of blocking. Um, the Y.O. defense then, you know, beginning to get uh, into the backfield. And then Y.O. blocks a 40-yard uh, field goal, the first of, of two missed field goals by Texas Tech, which huge. turned up to be huge. Massive, you know? yeah. So we just talked about Y.O.'s kicking game being awesome and, and getting that 56-yarder. You know, we this is the first of two misses for Texas Tech, which really cost them the game. Yeah. Um, you know, not to take anything from Wyoming, but – you know, you're missing two two field goals that you don't go to overtime, and, and Wyo doesn't make it. So, yep. you know, really big misses here from from um, the kicker there for Texas Tech. And then to the fourth quarter, uh, had a big Peasley run, uh, and then a personal foul call tacked onto that. So you get a nice nice yardage out of the run there from Peasley, and then another 15 yards for the personal foul. And then Scott looked really strong running the ball. You know, I, I think he came in as like the fourth back or something, but he got stronger and stronger as this game went on looks like a really solid running back um so I was really impressed with him and, and you'll see he had the two-point conversion to, to win the game here as we get to the to the overtime uh Wyo then takes the lead 20 to 17 with a 31 yard field goal uh the defense still getting pressure on Shook uh recording a sack here towards the end of the fourth quarter but there towards the end Texas Tech did what they have to do they're able to drive the field get into field goal range uh but boink 50 yard field goal Hits the upright. No good. Special teams miscues. For no good. Yep. Uh, so, again, there's a chance, and, and, and they didn't get it. That was to tie it up. Uh, then towards the end of the game, very end of the game, really last possession of Texas Tech, they have to score here in, in order to, to keep the, the game alive. Uh, a few minutes remaining, Shook hit Brown on a great throw along the sidelines, and then they do hit a 41-yard field goal with 41 seconds left to tie the game. And get them into overtime at 20 to 20. Yeah. Not surprising. 2020 game, relatively low scoring. You're talking about Wyoming defense. You know, exactly where you want to be if you're the home team here. You know, you're the, you're the 14 point dogs coming into the game, and you're bringing this into overtime and, and arguably with, with the momentum, you in, know. In your house, electric atmosphere. Absolutely. Yep. You know, we just talked about tying it up, but remember the first 17 points were in all, the first quarter. All so yeah. <laughs> they didn't score again. Until 41 seconds left in the game to take it to overtime. Yeah. So momentum here is, is feeling decently strong with, with Wyoming. Yeah. Uh, the question is, in overtime, can Wyoming score the points? Right. Right? So we get to the first overtime. Peasley with two big running games. Again, when, when he had the chance to run, he really made the most of his uh, opportunities here. And then he had a five-yard run up the middle with some great blocking. Touchdown on third and three. Great way to start the overtime. Um, you know, there was some talk at that point about looking like Jake Allen. You know, yeah. I'd be Josh remiss. Allen. Josh yep. Allen, yep. what am yep. I saying? Jake Allen. Yep. I'd be risk, remiss if we don't bring that up in, right. in a Wyoming video, but looking like Josh Allen and um, yeah, maybe a bit of a stretch. But, hey, running up the middle for a touchdown, let's do this. I mean, when you're in overtime and you, and you just take the lead in overtime, heck, what, what, you, got, you got to do it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So uh, then Texas Tech responds with a, with a touchdown to uh, Brooks going to second overtime. So second overtime, now Texas Tech starts with the ball. Uh, Shook finds Bradley in the back of the end zone. Really nice pass, kind yeah. of a little bit of a floater in the back of the end zone. Got behind the uh, the cornerback there. And um, touchdown on second and 10, 15-yard touchdown for them. Um, so now that back on Wyoming side, can they score the points? And boy, it was a nail-biter. <laughs> Get down to fourth down, fourth and seven. What's going to happen? Touchdown, Wyo. 
The Pope's bringing home Peasley. Just beautiful play. Finds takes takes the hit to make a play. I mean, just pressure in his face. Releases it just in time. And you know, I know you talked about him getting hit. He got hit, but he made the play. It's a thing of what legends are made of. Absolutely. I mean, let's, let's talk about this. Yeah. Finds uh, Gillenborg into the end zone. Touchdown. And then to cap it off, Scott with the run off tackle, two point conversion, upset complete. Cowboys win. What a ballsy move by the coach. To Beautiful. Yeah. It was awesome. Yep. So, I, you know, I got to toot my own horn a little bit. I had them over 5.5 as a lock. This certainly was not a game <laughs> I thought Wyoming could win. No. Right? Um, you know, two or three games where I'm like, yeah, I'm wiping them off. I'd mention them being a easy six, maybe seven, eight win team. Don't want to get too high yet. It's week one. But what a start to the season. I mean, you, you can't do much better than that. That's just... That's just good stuff. Great game. Amazing game. You know, when we started our season preview this year, you were high on Wyoming from the beginning. Yeah. And, and, and I kind of did a little check on you. And, <laughs> and I was looking at their schedule, and their schedule starts so hard. And yeah. I, I had this as a definite loss, yeah. which I think most people did. Sure. Um, and, you know, even even with that marked up as a loss, um, you know, you some even Wyoming fans were questioning how high you were on Wyoming and if they could go over that 5. That 5.5. Five and a half, yeah. That 5.5. Yeah. But – you know, with this win, which you and I both had chalked up to a loss, you know, this game could have gone either way yeah. and tied it up at the end over time. I mean, just great. But just to be there with a with a Big 12 team. Absolutely. Great upset. Dare I say a statement win. So uh, I 100% <laughs> a statement yeah. win. Um, I do want to get into a couple little little bit of stats yeah. here. Yeah. I mean, Shuck had a great game. You know, he's, he was 31 of 47, 338 yards. He had three touchdowns, one interception. Um, but he had a, he had a really strong game, you know. Yeah. But the, the Wyoming defense there, they bent in the beginning. They didn't break. They held it in it. And again, they didn't leave up a point until 41 seconds left in the game, and you know, almost win it straight up. Yeah. Um, Peasley, 18 to 24, 149 yards, two touchdowns. Did what he had to do. Absolutely. So what he had to do. A lot of balance for them on offense between the passing. The running backs and then the quarterback running the yep. ball. A lot of balance. Uh, you know, a lot of question marks about him coming into the year. Um, I, I f- Hopefully this game begins to turn the tide on on people's opinions of him. Very solid performance. You know, two touchdowns, no interceptions. He did what he had to do in that Wyoming offense. There's not much more I can say about that. I don't see at this point how you can question him. The only question is, can he keep doing this and stay healthy? Absolutely. But if he does stay healthy, I don't see how you can question that he's the not the guy that can lead uh, Wyoming to a great season. On right. This year. Agreed. Agreed. Let's look at rushing. Texas Tech 33 for 93 yards. So, you know, the Wyo defense holding them under 100 yards rushing. They did have one touchdown. But the Wyo offense... Um, had 171 yards, again, by committee, yes. um, and two touchdowns. So really strong running performance. You know, it was headed by Peasley there. He had the, the most uh, yards. Yeah. Uh, but I was really impressed with Scott, very impressed with Scott. I thought he was very strong towards the end of the game. Um, they put the ball in his hand, and, and he performed. So I'm anxious to see, you know, if, if a number one becomes out of this. Are they really just going to roll those two or three guys throughout the season? That's typically what they do. They like to mix it up. Uh, but if Scott's going to be strong, I could see him becoming a number one here in Wyoming. And he might be a number one. Maybe he'll be that closer role mm-hmm. where he can just, after the defense is worn down, he can just pound on them. Right. Receiving, uh, for Texas Tech, Bradley was eight receptions for 81 yard, or 88 yards in a touchdown. Price, six uh, receptions, 65 yards, and one touchdown on the Wyo side. Gillenberg, we talked about his uh, touchdown there late. Five receptions, 37 yards, one touchdown. I like Wheeland. He was two receptions, 33 yards. I didn't mention him in the, in the preview video. I'm a big fan of, of his. I thought he played really well in the end of last year. I think he's going to have a really good season this year. Uh, I just like the way he plays. And Welch, three for 31. The thing you get with him, he'll catch the ball, but he will make blocks for your running backs till the cows come home. And and he was doing that. I mean, he, he opened up the game for them. So really strong tight end play, really strong uh, receiver play. You look at turnovers. Why are we turning over twice? Texas Tech once. That's usually not a recipe for good things, but hey, they overcame that. Yeah. Um, and then Sacks, Wyo had three. Texas Tech had two. So again, you, you saw some of that Wyo defense getting to the quarterback. It, it was good to see. And really, really strong play from Wyoming. So... Anything you want to close this with, Steve? I would just say I'm I'm real happy for I'm happy for Wyoming. I'm happy for all those Cowboys fans. Um, 
you know, it's a great start for the Mountain West. They got week zero. They got a win over a MAC team, a, a solid MAC team. Yep. And now you have a win over a, a Big Ten team and yep. a Big 12 team. I think it's a great way. I, I don't see how the Mountain West could have started any better this year. So I'm happy for Wyoming, happy for their fans. Even those fans who were kind of calling us out a little bit in the <laughs> comments and in Reddit yeah. about your you, you being uh, very high on Wyoming this year to break that, that five and a half. Um, so for even for those fans, I'm happy for them too. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun this year watching Wyoming. So, uh, yeah, go Pokes. Yeah. Off to a great start. Hey, we thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like. we got a lot more Mountain West coverage coming up. we got an expansion video coming up. And we'll see you next time on the Big Mountain.